Another big issue in landscape drawing is field division. It's much bigger in linear perspective, but it holds true in landscape as well. Tradition says 35 degrees is the proper field of vision. The easiest way to measure it is 45 degrees. You just hold your hands out at a 45 degree angle and that kind of delineates your boundaries. So this little sketch will tell you how much is too much. I'm going to go for near 90 degrees and I'm going to include some of the same information for both of these sketches. So what I've done is gone basically straight to my shoulder and included a tree there and I've included a tree that's all the way across the driveway here. And I'm going to include all of the trees in between. And you'll see what's happening is I'm getting a lot of information there, um, but it's getting quite crowded and quite dense. Here's a restricted field of vision that's close to 45 degrees, and this is more correct. I think you can manipulate this as you see fit, but just to default, I think 45 degrees is probably the best thing to do to get started if you're having sort of these overcrowding problems. Um, the space is going to make a little bit more sense to you. Now I'm only including like four trees in this composition now, um, and I'm not including anything on the other side of the road, so the composition is quite simple. It's pretty effective. It has a nice layout. It's similar to the other one, even though there's less material there. So what I've come up with are a couple of little maxims. Uh, more is less, and more is just more confusing. Conversely, less is more, and less makes sense. So use a restricted field of vision to set up a more effective landscape.